holidays, everybody. Uh, all's good here in Florida. Sunny. Turkey went down. Uh, took us till the third quarter to get it run off, but uh, third quarter we really got it going. Maybe one of the best quarters I've ever been associated with. Uh, and then held on uh, day one. Uh, subbed a little bit too early. Probably uh, had some rotations in there we hadn't worked with. They made a little run. We recovered and put away a, what I think is going to end up being a really good team. Paul, go ahead. Hey, let's let's start with that third quarter. Did, you know, I think on the, earlier you were talking about the pace. You got the pace you wanted. Was it just a situation where you thought waiting to to for that to kick in a little bit? Yeah, I kicked in at halftime. You know, I, I know that I know how hard it was for us to to simulate off season and having that game on Wednesday night really proved to be beneficial for us. Uh, we there was no yelling, screaming, scraping paint off the wall in here at halftime. You know, we found ourselves up to on a really, really good team, but everybody in the room before, even before we walked in was talking about, Hey, we had the pace, right? Now we just got to clean some stuff up and execute a little bit better. And when that all came together, defense led to offense, offense led to attacking the paint and pitching and, um, you know, 37, it's hard to get 37 in 10 minutes shooting it without a defense out there. So a lot of energy in that, a lot of good people doing a lot of good things and then built a comfortable enough lead that, that we could manage the fourth quarter. Uh, Jason, go ahead. Just the job Amber did, especially there in that third, to kind of get the offense rolling. Yeah, and just, you know, she had a really good matchup. We kind of thought they'd put the Rocket kid on Chelsea, but they ended up putting her on Amber. So, picked on her a little bit there at the first. Amber got the first three shots of the game. I think she made her first eight shots, Mario was telling me. Um, but, you know, uh, that's what they decided to give us. I guess maybe they watched the film from the other night and said, hey, she went one for ten. You know, let's see. And you know, she certainly took advantage of her opportunities. Uh, I thought when we once we started getting into attack mode, we I thought we settled a little bit early on, uh, and we were trying to take really really hard shots. Then when we started taking easy shots, but Amber Amber's always a stabilizing force, whether it's with her her offense or with her words. Um, and uh, that's that that's that valuable seniorness, leadership, uh, great teammate. How that comes out and how it carries over to the court. Russell, go ahead. Did your pace pick up in the third quarter? Or was it just a matter of the shots going down? We we played, you're right. We played about the same pace. But, yeah, it did get – it's because we were making shots that the number grew. But that drives us. Once we make one or two, then it's like, okay, let's go again. So, I, I'll have to go back and look. But I bet we played a few more possessions, maybe four or five more possessions. But probably a result of us finally rebounding it a little bit. You know, we gave up 19 offensive rebounds, which – you know, as long as we end up with about the same number of shots, we're okay with that. But that's something we can really clean up. They could make that a, you know, a 25 or a 30 point game instead of a 15 pointer. But I think you're right. It wasn't a, a drastically different pace. Make shots makes it feel that way. Paul, go ahead. Uh, I was going to ask about Aaron Barnum off the bench. And then also you, you got to the line more, which is, I know, something you always want to do. You're 19 of 20 from the foul line in the second half. And that's the way the game was going to start to get called. I mean, it was very – a lot of adjusted to the hand checking and arm barring and what was – you know, and, and once once we saw that, that's when our eyes light up because we're pretty good at doing that. So, it, it got a little choppy. The game It made the game a little choppy, but I, I thought it was – we were in some foul trouble. You know, uh, Amber picks up too quick. Mack ends up fouling out. Chelsea had some foul issues. Taylor. But that's where that quality depth now – and. And I said this on the radio, and I hadn't said it to y'all yet, I don't think. The, the biggest thing Aaron Barnum has done this summer is gain her teammates' confidence. The kids now know that it's not like a sub coming in. It's like, okay, here's a different way to attack them. Jalen Mason immediately said, hey, coach, when, it, when she checks in, let's run flash and do this. And, and Aaron's so good at those things. And then Aaron defensively gets her hands on a lot of balls. She blocks some shots. She tips balls around. Um and it's, you know, I was about to take her out of the game. She made a really bad decision on one end. She sprints down the other end of the floor, blocks the shot, controls it, drives it the length of the floor, lays it back in from the spot where she just made the mistake. So two for one, we'll always get, well, okay, you get to stay. Uh, you just made up for it. So she's been, um, it's been great to see that. You can see it from her in high school. You, you saw her play in high school and you knew it was there. It's now a matter. She's got her teammates confidence. Jason, go ahead. Uh, you talked about the rebound. I, I'm looking at the turnovers. You guys forced 19, scored 26 off the 19. That you had 10, and only they only scored eight. So, so it's kind of a big difference there too in the game as well. Yeah, and that's how we survive giving up boards. 
you know, that's that trade-off. We're not very big, so we're not we're, they're going to out-rebound us. They just can't do both things. They can't out-rebound us and out-turn over us. So, able to keep our number down, you know, 10 is not – If we, I think we took 90-something shots if you combine field goals and free throws. And if we're in a 1 to 10, you know, like a 90-10 ratio there, uh, 9 to 10 ratio or 1 out of 10, however you want to look at it, that's, that's going to give us a chance. Um, we've got to clean up some of those rebounding, though, because it just makes it so hard uh, when you guard, 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 and they shoot and miss it and then just lay it back in. So, certainly an area we can improve on. Um, and that's that's the, the key formula to staying close to people that are going to out-rebound us. Russell, go ahead, last one. Florida Gulf Coast tomorrow, you mentioned on the radio that their style's a little different. Ex- explain what you mean there. Five out, all five kids will, will shoot and make threes. They've got – I mean, it's just – they're going to shoot it as fast as we do, maybe faster sometimes. Uh, this is definitely a game that's going to be over 100 possessions. Um, you're going to have to score to win this game. I mean, you can guard these guys and still look up, and they've got 80-85. So, uh, it's a unique style. Uh, Carl is known nationwide. People fly in here from all levels, all uh, genders, all countries to, to talk to him about offense. So, um, it is a challenge because of the way – uh, we scheme defense. We really put a lot of pride in preparing, and you, you cannot go over everything they do. They can just do so many different things with the variety of players, um, and it's going to be interesting to see them play. They've got a really good player that's a transfer from Ohio State that they're waiting for a wording of a transfer on, and if, if you interject her into the game, it completely changes the perspective a little bit. So we'll be waiting on our, our test results every morning. Uh, and uh, an announcement of who they're they're playing, but it, it's a fun style. It'd be a fun game to watch tomorrow for sure. All right, guys, that'll do it. Thank you.